The first time Harlan Labucan died, his father was at his side. He lived in Fox Lake, a remote First Nations community about 150 kilometers east of high level with no year-round road access and only one nursing station. One morning, Harlan woke up feeling sick. His father, Kenton Labucan, called the Fox Lake nursing station four times between 6 and 8 a.m., each time, he was told to call back when they opened. And I take my boy home to go see his mom. And that's the last time my, my wife saw our boy laying around our bed in pain. Frustrated, Labukan showed up anyways to wait for a nurse. Harlan was taken in where he was revived once, but within 45 minutes, he passed away without his father by his side. Conroy Supegaham, chief of Little Red River Cree Nation, believes that Harlan's death is sparking a larger conversation. I, I think what the pandemic is uh, is actually doing is, is just, it's really showing those glaring disparities that uh, separate Canada's Indigenous and non-Indigenous populations in terms of uh, health care. Global News called all 45 First Nations in Alberta to ask if they had a working physician. Out of the 31 that responded, only one has a doctor working five days a week, and one didn't want to comment. Some band members have to travel over an hour, or in one case to the Northwest Territories, just to see a physician. Dr. James McCocus, a family physician in Kihuan Cree Nation, believes this only creates bigger problems. If they're not able to be provided care in our own communities, and they experience racist, harmful care in tertiary care centers or hospitals, then where are they supposed to get adequate care? Delivering health care in First Nations communities is split between the provincial and federal governments, as well as the First Nations communities. But as Dr. Lana Potts, medical director of the Begunny Akunkei Health Centre says, physicians working in these areas feel like not enough is being done. It's not about phys funding physicians. It's not about funding nurses. It's actually about you know, saving lives and really just providing care to people who are not cared about at this moment. Much more on Harlan's story can be found on globalnews.ca. Jessica Robb, Global News.